Okay. We were running it for two years. Okay. Uh, and standards. Okay. Yeah, we use the same equipment. So it's comparable with other weather stations. Okay. I mean, nowadays you have, of course, more um, professional ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is the inlet. Yep. This. Here, yeah, that is uh, still submerged. Mm. Um, it is a grid chamber. Okay. And this takes any kind of sand which is coming from the catchment. Okay. And does not allow to overflow. And well, but if if the uh, water, I mean, I don't think the water flow will be that much to sort of go over this without going through the filter, probably. And know what happened? This what the you gate. see here. Uh -huh. That is a buffer wall. Okay. It's a diving wall. It's going inside the water. All the way in. Okay. The water has to flow underneath and then overflows there. Okay, so the whole idea is overflowing. You, you, do you want the water to overflow no, no, over no. this? Here not. This small wall, it's okay. underflowing. Okay. Yeah, it goes underneath so okay. that no floating material like plastic. Okay, okay. You see, what you recognize that there are hardly any leaves or branches. In right, yeah, this is, you know, quite amazing actually. If you look at the water quality on top, it's without any uh, dirt or, you know, yeah. the, the, what you normally mm -hmm. see in most of the uh, waterways, you will have a problem. <laughs> They were all the people who did this. Okay. Okay. பாருங்க <laughs> 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 மாடுகள் போய் அசுத்தம் பண்றது மனிதர்கள் போய் அசுத்தம் பண்றதே இல்லாம பண்ணியாச்சுனாலே உங்களுக்கு வந்து இது வந்து உங்களுக்கு வருஷம் ஃபுல்லாவே தண்ணி கிடைக்குது உங்களுக்கு கடந்த ஒரு நாலஞ்சு வருஷம் நல்லாவே மழை பெஞ்சுக்கிட்டு இருக்கீங்களா உங்களுக்கு அதனால நமக்கு வந்து ஏன்னா நான் வந்து மெட்ராஸ்ல மழை தான் பாக்குறேன் அப்ப இங்கயும் அதே மாதிரியான மழை இருக்கும் ஏன்னா ரொம்ப தள்ளி இல்ல இல்லைங்களா பயன்படுத்த 
எந்த அழுக்கும் வராம இங்க ஒரு ஃபில்டர் அப்புறம் உங்களுக்கு அங்க தண்ணி அடிக்கிறது அந்த பம்பு பார்த்தா அது ரொம்ப சார் என்ன தெரியுமா சொல்றாரு இது வந்து ஆயிரம் வருஷத்துக்கு முன்னாடியில இருந்து இருக்கு இந்தியால தமிழ்நாட்டுல இருக்கிற டிசைன் தான் அது அதான் நம்ம வந்து அதை திருப்பி அத அந்த டிசைனை திருப்பி பண்ணிருக்கோம் வேற ஒண்ணும் இல்ல புதுசா ஒண்ணும் இல்ல அது அப்படிங்கிறாரு because they did it but they did it now out of the no, i think interest. there are a lot of government schemes for construction related yeah, but, but maintenance that. unfortunately i mean that's that's a very fundamental flaw in the very thinking itself i mean what is the point in building something and if you are not going to maintain yeah. so there must be some incentive for maintenance illa idu inda idu vande oru puthagama kondu varanum gnrathu or idea ena indha maadhiri tamil nadu la evlovo edathila kondu varalam indha maadhiriyana design la உங்களுக்கு வந்து இது ஒன்றும் பார்க்குறப்ப ஒரு ரொம்ப ஒன்றும் புதுமை இல்லாத மாதிரி இருக்கும் வந்து பார்க்குறப்ப ஆனால் அதுக்கு பின்னாடி நிறையா என்ஜினியரிங் இருக்குது அது வந்து அது நமக்கு வந்து எல்லா இடத்துலையும் ஏன்னா தண்ணி கஷ்டங்கிறது வந்து தமிழ்நாட்டில் எல்லாரும் சொல்லிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க இப்போ நீங்கள் இப்போ இங்கே வந்து குடிக்கிறதுக்கும் உங்களுக்கு வந்து கஷ்டம் இல்லை நல்ல தண்ணியாக வருது இது வந்து மோசமான தண்ணி இல்லை நல்ல தண்ணி குடிக்கிற தண்ணி எல்லாரும் குடிக்கிற தண்ணி இதுக்காக வந்து நீங்கள் தனியாக போய் ஒன்றும் ஸ்பெஷலாக ஒன்றும் பண்ண வேண்டியதில்லை மழை தண்ணியை எப்படி ஒழுங்கா பயன்படுத்துறது அப்படிங்கறது தான் இது இப்போ நான் சாதா அது இன்னும் சாதாரண வந்து இப்படியே லைட்டா தும்புலாம் அப்படி தள்ளிட்டு ஆமா அப்படி தான் பண்ணுவோம் அப்படி தான் பண்ணுவோம் இப்போ நாம அதுல என்னன்னா அதுல சின்ன சின்ன பிரச்சனைகள் ஒருவேளை வரலாம் இப்போ நம்ம வந்து அது அது ஒண்ணுமே இல்லாத மாதிரி இங்க பண்ணிட்டீங்க நீங்க இல்லீங்களா ஒரு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒரு ஃபில்டர் அதுக்கு அப்புறம் உள்ள போய்ட்டு அப்புறம் வெளிய வரும் ஆமா அதனால அந்த நல்லா இருக்கு சார் எந்த ஒரு இதுமே இல்லாம அத அந்த அத வந்து அந்த மாதிரியான ஒரு யோசனை அந்த மாதிரியான ஒரு ஐடியா நமக்கு வந்து தொடர்ந்து எல்லாருக்கும் போய் சேரணும் இல்லையா இதை எப்படி பண்ணுறது அப்படிங்கிறது அப்போ மக்களுக்கே வந்து இதில் நமக்கு இந்த மாதிரியானது தான் வேணும் இந்த ஏன்னா நல்ல தண்ணினால நமக்கு நோயெல்லாம் வராமல் இருக்கு அப்படிங்கிறதெல்லாம் தெரிஞ்சிருச்சுனாலே மக்கள் தானாகவே இதை செய்ய ஆரம்பிச்சிருவாங்க ஒரு தடவை கரெக்டா டிசைன் பண்ணிட்டோம்னாலே அது அது இங்க உள்ள வர தண்ணியும் ரொம்ப கிளீனா இருந்ததுனால ஏன்னா எங்கெங்கயோ பிடிச்ச அந்த கேட்ச்மெண்ட்ல இருந்து வருது இல்லைங்களா அந்த தண்ணி அதுவும் சுத்தமா இருந்ததுன்னா அதுல எது நடுவுல வந்து ஓரம் கிரம் படுறது இல்ல வேற ஏதாவது அசுத்தங்கள் வராம இருந்துச்சுனாலே ஊர் குளத்துக்கு நல்ல தண்ணி இருக்கும் லட்சக்கணக்கில் பணம் கொடுத்து மினரல் வாட்டர் வாங்கி குடிக்கிறதுக்கு இப்ப எங்களுக்கு இப்ப சென்னையில வந்து ஒரு பெரிய ஊர்ல நீங்க நினைச்சாலும் இந்த மாதிரி ஒன்னு பண்ண முடியாது இல்லைங்களா அதான் அதான் நீங்க அங்க என்ன பண்ணுவீங்க ரிவர்ஸ் ஆஸ்மாசிஸ் போட்டு ஒரு பெரிய பிளான்ட் போட்டு அதுல வந்து எக்கச்சக்க கரண்ட் செலவு பண்ணி பைப்ல அனுப்புறீங்க அந்த பைப்ல ஏதாவது அசுத்தம் இருந்ததுன்னா திருப்பி தரையில வருது பெரிய பைப்பு அதோட கழிவு நீர் குழாய வந்து சேர்ந்துரும் உங்களுக்கு நீங்க என்ன தண்ணி குடிக்கிறீங்கிற கண்ட்ரோலே கிடையாது இப்ப நீங்க வந்து இது ஓப்பனா இருக்குனாலும் சுத்தமா இருக்கு சுத்தமா இருக்கு அதான் அதான் இதுல சிறப்பே பெருமளவு இந்த நகரங்களை விட்டுட்டு சின்ன ஊர்கள் எல்லாத்துலயுமே இதை செஞ்சுட்டாங்கனாலே அந்தந்த மக்களுக்கு எந்த பிரச்சனையும் இல்லாம போயிடும் உங்களுக்கு ஆமா சாப்பாடு <laughs> 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 
கிராமங்களும் <laughs> 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 ஏற்படுத்த <laughs> 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 குளிக்கிறதுக்கு போய் அதுலயே போய் விழுவுமா அப்படிங்கறத கொஞ்சம் யோசிக்கணும் got into some kind of disuse i you know obviously you have probably not been there recently no have you no i know this problem why yeah. um that uh, was actually um we had a um ngo and board to do the social engineering okay they misunderstood some situation okay. so they constructed the orani with one group of the population okay which were not interested in that were not local they came okay. from outside and they have okay. been settled in this village okay okay and the original uh, inhabitants of the village uh, who were actually interested in using this um kind of water because they knew orani system okay they were not involved during the construction so th- so nobody ended up actually using it so the it others <laughs> didn't allow them to use it but they ah. did not want to use it okay yeah and it, yeah, yeah, a, yeah this is the most beautiful orani if you see the water it's like uh, it has a greenish color mm-hmm. uh, it looks very very beautiful and uh, has never been put into function because of this conf- very sad very sad yeah And yes, there you see it I was a bit disappointed because for that we had an NGO involved to exactly find out these issues mm-hmm. and, they, and they ended up actually making this problem yeah, probably work with colony people who mm. were the more uh, poor people in mm. the village but they always got support from the government through various schemes and the real mm. villagers okay who uh, know about oranis and who used oranis they were not involved in the process okay so they had no ownership with it they were not even allowed to use the water too bad yeah yeah it's very so- sophisticated process and you have to you have to do it with the people but with yeah, the right yeah. people you know? and only then you know they really understand the uh, uh, you know value of what they are consuming yeah and uh, they have a stake in preserving it yeah may we said these are these two catchments okay and you see there they uh, are cut but they have uh, yeah. closed okay. they sometimes do it so huh? that the orani is filling up higher they don't want to let the water out okay and um, okay course. so at that point you know you close and this can uh, go to uh, no what is you that for Usually if you have excess excess of rain for the orani is full in all then it can be diverted to uh, uh, yeah. agriculture the yeah original outlet was on the other side there okay. was a culvert okay. um uh, but then we decided we provided here okay. to also connect this area as a second catchment okay. so it has two functions it can release water it, or it can side. also be a catchment and for the, that okay yeah, catchment to okay. the small uh, okay. um a little forest there okay it's a smaller one the other one is more than double it's okay. uh, big okay but yeah as we now learned both together they can supply this orani quite uh, sufficiently okay and they said now i think uh, since th- 3 years it has not been dry yeah it has not been dry even the last time it was dry was in uh, yeah about 3 years back and that is then the problem now then of course the nutrients are accumulating right. if it's not drying you cannot clean it yeah. you cannot desludge it yeah and um No, yeah, on the other hand they have enough water that is a good thing so what what do you do if you if you have to forcibly clean it once in a while right so what do you do then um i mean that is in a period of time until the next drought season comes then they have to do it during this drought season so you know is it something like where you can have it for about 5 6 years and then clean it it's okay yeah. it's yeah. okay 
Um, so you understand how it's flowing? The yeah. Water is yeah. flowing like an S yeah. under yeah. this yeah. Buffer, yeah. I can see that. Overflows and the maximum storage volume mm -hmm. uh, is this okay. overflow there. there yeah. This is small steel. So what happens if it overflows above that shorter uh, wall there? Then it's full. <laughs> yeah, I mean, will it go back? Uh, well, then usually it should, uh, if they would not have closed it, it would then okay. the water okay. would flow then other okay. direction. Okay. Yeah, then this is full. They could even have another tank over okay. there. Okay. And uh, this buffle is only there. Yeah, I'm told that, you know, in, in some districts here, um, they have set up tanks where overflow from one goes to the next, which goes to the next. So there's a good cascading setup. Yeah. That is very common in Tamil Nadu. They had a very sophisticated system. I mean, okay. even on a large scale, yeah. they had these huge tanks, yeah. all is all very well interconnected. Okay. And they were all cascading in each other. Extremely okay. intelligent system. Yeah. Uh, if it comes here inside, on the end we have a small um, um, platform. Okay. So if the first flush is uh, falling inside, it okay. should not create erosion. Okay. Uh, therefore, here at the inlet side, we put some small, con you cannot see it here, it's submerged, no? Okay. Um, which is just protecting that uh, the revitment will not be eroded. Okay. And uh, what we then did is the uh, outlet is exactly at the opposite corner. Okay. So any kind of pathogen or pollution coming here inside uh -huh. has to pass through the whole lake until it reaches the uh, right. outlet. The but uh, uh, it won't take much time to do that. Supposing so, uh, you know, some kind of a, a biological contamination happens. It takes long time because the dynamic is not so strong. The flow dynamic, the dynamic you, during this period of time you have only from the water which is uh, get pumped outside. Okay. Which is, I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, because of the still, how, how about the, uh, the minor tidal effects or uh, just the wind current? What what prevents a pathogen from traveling? I mean, you you think it'll take hours or days or? Yeah, through wind it can happen, but then it uh, travels on the surface, but not down. No? That means uh, the filters on the. Uh, bottom. But but think about it other way. I mean, I I don't know. Uh, I'm just just reacting to your uh, comment. What if it just grows because this is this is quite nutrient rich water. No. Uh, I, I know I, maybe sun probably kills it I don't know whether uh, that's the point a pathogen uh -huh. I mean what for us is pathogenic for a human being right uh, has its uh, living environment in your stomach okay in this condition okay I mentioned about this anaerobic condition which right. I don't right. like to have right right yeah because it's exactly the milieu where uh -huh. uh, pathogens are li living okay so um, a lake like this is not their living environment they die or they got um, um, destroyed by other bacteria. Okay. It's not their environment. It's like you would take an, a, a giraffe and let a giraffe and live okay. in the North Pole. Okay. It, it will yeah, it will be. You know, I, I don't know, but for example, you introduce, say, cholera, uh, yeah. uh, you know, bacterium, and uh, then study. I mean, introduce. Of course, yeah. this is not the place to do that. I mean, you should do it perhaps in a no, in, in a test environment. And introduce and see how it spreads or whether it gets killed. Uh, it will not grow. It will not grow. Okay. Because it is uh, uh, cholera. Um, uh, bacteria is uh, accustomed to a different environment. Okay. Yeah. And that is with most pathogens. But you, you say that, but then when you look at the cholera spread, yeah. it invariably does through flowing water body. Right. I mean, it, 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 it happens because people, uh, you know, use, um, uh, you know, rivers for washing yeah. and uh, it spreads again, then it gets consumed, then, but, um, you know, it, always have to consider what is their retention time? How long can they survive? Okay. Without well, maybe the difference is that that's a flowing water, normally a river. Yeah. So unlike this one, which is pretty much stationary. And it, it's, ta it's a question of time. Okay. It's a question of time. How long a bacteria can survive outside its common milieu okay. of living? Okay. Yeah. And um, I mean, I can't tell you now for each uh, pathogen. In uh, Germany, we have a rule where we say the water which is infiltrated into the groundwater needs um, mm -hmm. 30 days travel time in a soil, so okay. that all pathogens are eliminated. And there okay. are many, okay. many security factors inside. Okay. 
So there is a certain period of time. If you it, it pass through a soil during the time, you can be 100% sure it's uh, all the pathogens are killed because it's not their living environment. Okay. Yeah, and a similar principle we used actually in our filters, but a little bit also in the lake because also a lake is not the living environment for pathogens. Pathogens li live in the human body, or sometimes you have some back to us. Yeah, like uh, some some carriers. Yeah. yeah. But we take also others. We take AIDS. Mm -hmm. Even AIDS can only be transferred liquid to liquid. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. It cannot survive. True. It dies True. very fast. True. And even though it's dying very fast, it's, disease can spread because we do not take care for the boundary condition. True, true. And I mean, if you go into the text, um, there is a concept called multi-barrier system, mm -hmm. which we use uh, for water supply, where we are creating barriers that exactly this contaminants okay. cannot cross. Okay. And um, a natural barrier is a lake. It's a natural barrier. It's very interesting, actually. I mean, that uh, to think about uh, a lake or a Uruni as a safe uh, system, that it is not just water storage, yeah. it's a pathogen controller in some sense. Uh, yes, and we, we actually we built in three hurdles. No? Uh -huh. We have this lake, we try to keep the retention time for the bacteria which is entering here and reach okay. uh, the filter there. The as farthermost long point. As yeah. 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 Therefore, yeah. we uh, put it always in the opposite corner. Okay. And even if it reached this point, hypothetically, Mm. Then it still has to go to this uh, filter which I showed yesterday right. in the picture. Right, 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 yes, in, the, in the, the picture, picture yes, yes. Which is only a roughing filter. Okay. And actually only there to prevent that no fishes are uh, getting inside. Yeah, that, that was my other question. I mean, um, how do you, you know, the, the fish egg is so small, they can easily come in. And I don't know whether there are, there are any uh, fish or. Uh, there are fishes, there were always fishes in Orani. And, and it's not a problem anyway, right? You know, having fish uh, there. It's like a natural body, no? It's a natural body. Too high. Okay. Because we say that it's here not cargo zone, no? Okay. Uh, people should feel attached. Right, 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 the right, right. right. See it they should see it. it. Yeah, I, I fully agree. I mean. And um, secondly, that was actually Mendes input to use this. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, now, how do you call it? Jelly? Jelly, because yeah. Because then wind yeah. can pass through. Yes. And wind yes. brings oxygen. And we right. want oxygen as much as possible right. in this water body. Yeah, I mean, for example, even you know, children can see through this and uh, yes. see the water. And um, we wanted to have... <laughs> oh, God, she's making a show. Kids, just tape it, really. And um, we wanted to have uh, this... Mm. Uh, f from a shape so that no animals are jumping in. Right, right, like right, dogs, right, maybe, right. Or, or goats. Yeah, uh, I think this is a this is a height at which goats probably will not even try. I never have seen any animal. I, mean, mm. I think mm. for the family quite often. <coughs> oh, normally, you have no problem with the organic, uh, the leaves and uh, other uh, twigs falling into that. Yes you can't prevent no. it because uh, it's, a, it's a large anything. tree. Uh, with, which can, uh, you know, you can see that, you know, there are twigs and uh, what leaves is there. Exactly, this material is in the source for carbon, mm -hmm. which uses, uh, uh, it creates this um, organic layer on right. the bottom. And right. also the um, uh, plankton growth. Right. If it gets too extensive, okay. yeah, it's uh, then not good because then it takes also oxygen during right, the night. Right, right, right. Yeah? yeah, that's true. You can see little fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on side. Local variety. Which is, um, I mean, obviously you can't prevent it. So. But that's another thing, you know. I've, you know, all the, um, you know, Indian water bodies have always had plant matter around and leaves, leaves keep falling anyway. So uh, I guess you know that that your filter system pretty much takes care of it, probably. You look, but we have to take care of our pathogens. Yeah? Mm. They are the dangerous one, right? Yeah, which are harmful for us. Yeah. And uh, this is very much taken care of. Okay. We have the double filter system, one Raoul filter, mm -hmm. which has also biological function. Mm -hmm. And we did intensive studies okay. in the laboratory. Okay. When we use sun filter, we were feeding them with um, um, contaminated water, and we looked how much it uh, got depleted. Okay. And. Uh, we had really good uh, results. Okay. And we monitored this water also uh, two years. Okay. They're continuously all critical parameters, which are there. 
Menschen, ne? hier ist das uh, Filter, which is dived in. Ne? Okay. Which takes the first treatment step. Okay. And from there it goes to this um, collection well. Okay. And from this collection well, the pumps are pumping. <coughs> okay. The pumps are pumping in this filter here. It's now locked. This is a sun filter, fine sun filter. Mm -hmm. And okay. how often do you have to replenish the... Usually uh, it's not required to replenish. At all? At all. <coughs> what if, um, you know, fine particles keep getting accumulated to that? Then uh, you have to clean it. Now, then you can open it. Yeah? And it just as it flows from the surface, from the top to the bottom, then just have to flush the surface. Okay. But And uh, then replace it with, uh, you know, fine sand again or just leave well, it as... You it. just wash it. Okay. You wash it. Okay. You, you steer it, the sand. Okay. okay. Uh, because whatever is there is fine turbidity, um, will easily move. Okay. The interesting part is that the incoming water has a very, very high turbidity. Um, now we cannot see it mm. because of the algae. The mm. uh, turbidity now is very low already. You, will, you can see that just beyond algae, it's fairly, yeah. uh, you know, reasonable. It's not 100% transparent, but it mm. has a good clarity. Mm. That means um, <coughs> the last rainfalls were actually <coughs> only two weeks ago, no? Yeah, but I don't know what happened here, but there, there were rains... Yeah. About two weeks back, yeah. So what we observed only a few weeks after this high turbid um, water enters here inside, the turbidity starts flocculating. Mm. And that's what I mentioned to you. You put this, the, um, the pointed uh, cement. Yeah. Cement pointing. Yeah. The yeah. calcium gets dissolved in the water. Not much, but sufficient to make this turbidity flocculate. Okay. And that is a quite a positive effect. Yeah. We had otherwise um, very, very high... I think several hundreds NTU mm -hmm. and per Indian standards only maximum 10 are allowed and optimal is 1 to 2. Okay. And this 1 to 2, this clarity, I mean, if you look into the pot, we reach after... Uh, after. Yeah, this is, this is very clear. And, and after not even allowing the water to stand. Yeah. After some time, some turbidity comes down. The turbidity is very high here. Yeah. And but for such stability, this water is very clear. Right. Yeah. Because with no settlement of any kind, you're directly catching it. Yeah. I mean, yeah and I mean, the, if you look from the top, then you have the, then you see it has actually yeah. almost zero NTU. Mm. 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 Drink a little bit. Alangai. Alangai. <laughs> it's nice, it's uh, it's like clean, decent water. Yeah, and um, I mean. You have of course always to be uh, safer in. Mm. and what happened because we have this multi barrier system, this concept right, right, where right. Uh, even the catchment is a barrier mm, mm. by not allowing any um, pathogenic contamination in the catchment. And mm. I don't know if the people are doing it, but we uh, try to educate them. Don't let uh, people defecate, especially. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. That they they've animals. explained that no, um, uh, you know, uh, no such thing happens anywhere around. So then automatically, and that's what I observed actually in my analytical data, when we mm, took first mm, analysis, mm, mm, uh, we had a lot of coliform bacteria mm, in our results. Okay. Only without um, uh, doing anything in the construction of the Orani, just by um, creating awareness, we could reduce significantly reduce the yes, um, yes. coliform level. Right. Right. Yeah, that, that, that is the thing. I mean, just simple plain education will... Help substantially. Yeah, and that is in the first barrier. And then we have the lake as the second, first filter, second filter. We have all in all four barriers to prevent any pathogen to reach here. And uh, with this uh, possibility that a pathogen reaches, mm, mm, is mm, unified mm. actually. Yeah. But yeah, in some sense, you know, um, without a proper um, sanitation, uh, you know, education, you cannot uh, clean up water bodies. Yeah, but then the people also appreciate that when water and that that much education is already spread now. 
Nobody is going for anything around here. Yeah. And that alone, that phone just check. And the catchment line also, they are not going. Hmm. Because this is our community. That means, no phone just check. It is the link that is to be established. Yeah. Once they know that, then uh, more and more. Now, you know what the village women are asking me. इधर कुड़ी के दुग्धां पत्ते दे यंग तुम तो क्या हाँ हाँ ना दे वांट द वाटर फॉर वॉशिंग देर क्लोथ्स बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली दिस वाटर विल डू वेरी गुड जॉब ऑफ वॉशिंग द क्लोथ्स बट दे डोंट हैव सफिशिएंट वाटर नो दे दे द विलेज हैज बैन देम फ्रॉम यूजिंग इट या व्हाट यू नीड टू डू प्रोबेबली � just uh, because the, there is no cost it is effort you do it then if you need more water you can use that also for drinking see uh, its idea is that the water is anyway uh, it's a rain water it's just the system that you are building you can build a brand new system yeah in yeah in every depression you can have a system exactly yes. exactly it has not to be as sophisticated as this one yeah it doesn't have to be this can be the ultimate model it can yeah. be lesser variations of yeah this. So this is the proof of the pudding. Yeah. This is also one of the old faces. Okay. He is a okay. village uh, priest. priest. Priest, yeah. So he went and did a puja for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I went inside. I went to the temple.